And man, listen, Rick, I don't know if you know this, but Emory, but this man will go out on a limb for a lot of things. And this is a limb because this guy is 5'5", 179. And he didn't run at the combine, but he plays fast. And we're talking about Deuce Vaughn, of course. And I'll tell you a quick story, Emory. You were with us in Indy. I'm not sure if you were there when we talked to Juju Brents, the 6'4 cornerback. And I, I stood next to Juju and I said, man, I feel like Deuce Vaughn. And he said, don't say that to Deuce because Deuce takes very seriously people calling him small. You have him at number five. Why do you have him that high? No, he's actually my number three. He's my number three back. Um, oh, okay. So for me, I compared him to Darren Sproles. And we talked about this when we were at the combine. When you look at someone that's short, you better be explosive. You better be elusive. You better be dynamic. You better be able to, to be tough and show that you can carry the load. You can't give people a reason to say, oh, he's too small. And Vaughn doesn't give you that reason. He gives you effort and pass for That's all you can ask for. He's a downfield threat in the passing game. He can affect the game without needing a lot of carries. But you want to give him more carries because he's so dynamic with the football. And he plays a lot stronger and feels like he's bigger than that 175. So when you read his weight, you're shocked that, wow, that's how much he weighs? Because I couldn't tell because he plays bigger than that. So to me, the Sproles comp, again, not just because he's the same height, weight, came from the same school. It just fits because that's what I see him as. And I see him as someone that now in today's space game, uh, it's even more advantageous for a guy to be super elusive like him. Because, again, we know guys don't get 20 to 25 carries anymore. He doesn't have to do that. So he is someone that I can see someone like Sean Payton working something up, finding a way to get Deuce Vaughn on his football team and having him thrive in a specific role that he carved out for a Sproles, for a Reggie Bush, for a C.J. Spiller when he had him for that brief season. So I like Sproles. I'm Sproles. I like Vaughn. And I do like his potential moving forward. And by the way, I, I have trouble reading, Rick, and you won't find this a, a surprise. The reason Deuce is fifth is because this is a, a consensus of all three of our, our guys. You had, Emory, as you pointed out, you had Deuce third. Rick and I didn't have him in our top five. And, Rick, I can imagine because he's small. And I, I, know I wish I knew how to post things on the Internet or on the show. <laughs> what do you want to say? Because I took a picture of him behind the huddle and <laughs> uh, at the uh, Alabama-Kansas State game down at the Sugar Bowl. And it was it puts in uh, perspective how small this kid is. Now he may play with the biggest chip on his shoulder that I've ever seen. He probably has the biggest heart. I mean, they gave him. I watched his Noble commercial uh, during the combine, and uh, you know he's got a point to prove. So I wouldn't bet against this kid landing on a roster. I think the biggest thing that you have to be concerned about when they're that small understanding that they have a role, but, you know, what happens if he has to pass pro? Because running backs aren't going to be able to release all the time, depending on if the protection changes. And I think it's going to be a huge mismatch if he has to end up pass protecting. Not that he's not willing to do it. He just doesn't have the physical stature to sit there and try to pick up a linebacker or some safety or someone coming off the edge. But I remember he took off in versus Alabama. That has a very good defense. Made a quick cut. But to be honest with you, I was behind their offense in the end zone, watching from the end zone on the field, and I couldn't see him. I had no idea where he popped out of. And so small guys usually have a tendency to hide in there between everybody, and he's so quick-twitched and such great vision as a runner. Uh, that he can pick and pull his way through uh, a, a little little hole here or there. And then the next thing you know, you see his speed in the open field because I do believe once he gets in the open field, he can finish. So I, I do see him carving out a role with a football team. Uh, Emery, hang on just a second. Debo told me to say, I respect you for all the work and evaluations you do and the 600 and some offensive players that you did. I'm looking forward to 800 defensive players that you did, but I just cannot agree with Bond being in the top five. 